Hitting you bozos with my hammer! Ha <laughs> ha You better watch out, or I'm gonna whack you over the head too! Oh, please, come a little closer! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me again. My name is Janice and today I have a lot of Halloween fun DIYs. So let's get started. Today I will be making three DIYs you don't want to miss. So stick around. Okay, so this first video, I took this cake pan from Dollar Tree and the spatula and pie spatula from Dollar Tree comes in a pack and this tin storage containers that I got from Dollar Tree as well. And I'm going to take it outside and just spray the cake pan in the red spray paint from Rust-Oleum in Colonial Red. So the cake pan is dry and um, I also painted the little tin containers with the black paint. I didn't have spray paint in black so I had to actually paint it. Um, so then I'm going to take this um, radio flyer. I printed it out. I found it on the internet, typed in radio flyer and I just printed it out on my printer. Now I'm taking the black paint and I'm going to paint the little pie spatula as well. I've seen everybody making this little wagon, so I thought I'd give it a try. So I need to make a small circle, so I'm just using the top of the bottle. Now I'm taking white Waverly chalk paint and I'm just going to fill in the circle. Now I'm taking the red paint and I'm going to make a little tiny circle. It really is starting to look like the little radio flyer. It's so cute. Taking this now I'm taking this wood skewer I got from Dollar Tree and just painting it black because I'm going to hot glue the little wheels to it. I know some people have used magnets and I didn't want to. So now I'm just uh, getting an idea how long I need it to cut it and just uh, placing the little wheel on the one end, just kind of eyeballing it. So I'm placing some hot glue in the little inside of the wheel and um, holding it down for a few seconds and then I'm going to put the other end the same way and repeat the same steps for the other side as well. You can use this for any holiday. You don't have to use it just for um, Halloween. You can use it for Christmas, Easter. You can put Easter eggs in there uh, for Thanksgiving. You can put uh, 
pine cones and fall leaves, stuff like that. It's, it's really cute. One end up being just a little bit too long, so I'm just going to snip it down and uh, re-glue it. Now I'm going to take my hot glue and I'm going to hot glue underneath where the little wood piece is and make sure it's secure and tight. But for a better hold, I would suggest super glue or E6000 because the hot glue is just not a strong hold, but it'll do for now. And look how cute that is. It's so adorable. I love it. Now I'm going to hot glue the little pie handle down and um, put hot glue as well. I'm trying to get it to, <laughs> to stable itself because um, the handle's hitting the bottom, so I just kind of have to hold it. And that's the result of the little handle. Now I'm going to take this radio flyer that I printed out. I'm going to cut it. I'm going to take some glue, tacky glue that I got from Dollar Tree. Unfortunately, you can't see what I'm doing because the way the camera is angled, but I'm just putting some tacky glue down on it, and then I'm going to put it on the side of the wagon. And that's what it looks like when I put the little radio flyer on there. It's so cute. Now I'm going to take some of this straw I got from Dollar Tree. I'm just going to put a little bit inside the wagon. I don't have a lot of Halloween pumpkins because apparently my Dollar Tree <laughs> still hasn't had still hasn't had their shipment come in yet. But I did get these uh, orange pumpkins from Hobby Lobby and the little corn cobs um, from Hobby Lobby as well. And that little pumpkin I got from Dollar Tree and this white pumpkin I made last year. And that's it. You can add anything in here. I just threw what I had in there. Um, and then the Hay, uh, hay bales, and that was it. I just threw what I had in there and trying to make it look as cute as possible. And look how cute this is. It looks just like the little miniature radio flyer. <laughs> I love it. So for this next DIY, I took four, well here's the Spanish moss, and I took four shadow boxes from Dollar Tree. I have some craft paper that I got from Hobby Lobby, and there is the shadow boxes I got from Dollar Tree. I took the back end of them out already. And I have these two little skeletons I got from Dollar Tree. I am missing the one, I believe it's the See no evil. That's right. And I'm using two of the little pumpkins that I got last year. I'm tracing out the back part of the back end of the shadow box and with the with the craft paper. And then I'm gonna take some of the super glue, not super glue, Elmer's glue, the glue stick, and apply it and put it on the back of it. Now I'm going to take the shuttle box and take some hot glue and I'm going to put the backing on. So I did the same thing to the other shuttle box. Now I'm going to take the one shadow box and I'm going to start placing the little skeleton inside. I'm taking some of the moss and um, I'm cutting it because I didn't want to 
have a mess everywhere so I'm just taking some chunks of it and then I'm going to hot glue little portions of it inside the shadow box. Now I'm placing the skeleton right in the middle of the moss and I'm going to hot glue him down as well. Some of the stores carry something like this or similar and they're pretty expensive so to make this from Dollar Tree products is pretty good and it really comes out amazing. So now I'm taking these little pumpkins that I got last year from Dollar Tree. Um, I'm just going to cut off the stem and I'm going to hot glue it inside and on each shadow box. So they have one each. Now I'm going to hot glue the shadow box on top. That also has glass so it looks like he's inside the shadow box. So, But to have a better hold I would advise if you ever try to make this super glue E6000 because the hot glue is just not going to uh, be strong enough. Here's a sneak peek. I think it's cute. Spooky for Halloween. And then the other one I did off camera because I didn't want <clears throat> to make it too long. And there's the two. And here's the final product. I love them. I'm going to put them out on my uh, shelves for Halloween. And I hope you like them too. Okay, last DIY. I took two of these haunted houses from Dollar Tree. This mesh from Dollar Tree. And the craft sticks. And I got these bats from Party City. And some contact paper from Dollar Tree. And some lights from Dollar Tree. I'm going to remove all the tags from the little haunted house. So I'm laying out the contact paper and I'm going to trace the little haunted house to it and then I will cut it out. I'm using my little blade knife. I got this from Hobby Lobby. Makes it easier because it's hard to use scissors. I'm also cutting out the area where the little windows are as well. I'm placing the contact paper on the little haunted house, uh, making sure it's going to fit right, and then I'm going to start peeling it and applying it slowly and making sure that it's aligned. So that's done and I'm just going to cut off the edges that are overlapping and I did the other one off camera. Now that they're done, I'm going to start painting the inside of the haunted house with the apple barrel black paint. Now I'm using the black paint on the popsicle sticks and give it a quick light coat. I'm going to use these for the trim for the windows. Now I'm taking some of the black paint and just 
distressing the little haunted house with some black smudging here and there um, just to give it like that old haunted look to it. So I'm going to take the popsicle sticks and start hot gluing the top part of it so this way it will start to hold the haunted house together. Um, once I start applying one on each side it should hold it together. Sorry guys it's out of frame right now but um, all I'm doing right now is just placing two popsicle sticks at the top. So I'm going to hot glue all the way down the whole side on each end um, until it's totally completed with all the popsicle sticks that's going to actually make the frame of the roof. I'm taking two popsicle sticks, hot gluing them like an angle, and then I'm going to apply it to the top like a peak. So I'm taking the black paint, I'm going to paint the roof, and um, I'm not going to actually um, cover it totally with all the black because we want to make it spooky. So here I have two jingle blocks. I hot glue them together because I'm going to hot glue it inside and that's what I'm going to wrap the lights around so they can actually sit on something because there's no bottom to the, the haunted house so it needs some support. So now I'm taking the bats, I'm cutting off the ring part of it and I'm going to use about five of them and um, three on the front of the haunted house and two I'm going to use some uh, floral wire and kind of make it look like it's hanging and flying. So I'm taking the floral wire and I'm going to find a spot and then I'm going to wrap it around one of the popsicle sticks and uh, add a little bit of uh, hot glue to that and then I'm going to hot glue the little bat to the end of it. And that's what it looks like. It looks like it's um, flying off the roof. And then I'm going to apply one the same way on the other side. Now I'm hot gluing the remaining bats to the front of the haunted house. And that's what the bats look like. It looks really cool. Now I'm taking the mesh and I'm going to take some um, Mod Podge and put it over the windows. This step should have been done 
um, when I had it apart, <laughs> I totally forgot. So now I'm just trying to add it to the haunted house. So if you ever try to make this, don't forget um, the mesh. And this is the final result. I think it came out amazing. I love it. Let me know in the comments below. Do you guys like it? That's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And once again, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.